Hello everybody, welcome to the video all about arithmetic operations. Today we'll be focusing on multiplication. Let's start by reading a short summary on how to solve multiplication questions and what it might entail. Multiplication is the operation carried out on two numbers at a time to arrive at a third number called a product. It consists of adding a number a to zero and a number b of times. In short form, the answer will be derived through an a times b. A quick example would be 3 times 5. The number 3 is added to 0 5 times. So as seen below, it will be 0 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 15. Multiplication is quite important as it is a very common operation that will be included in most questions. Therefore, it is fundamental to learn how to do multiplication quickly and efficiently. As above, multiplication, if broken down, is just adding numbers multiple times. For example, if you were supposed to do 6 times 3, that would just be 6 plus 6 plus 6, which equals 18. This, however, is quite tedious, especially with bigger numbers. Therefore, for multiplication like, for example, 12 times 7, there is a way to do this efficiently by using a visualizer. So for 12 times 7, you can structure it kind of like this. It is important to line up the numbers properly. As you can see, the 1s and the 10s are lined up together. This is quite important because if you mess this up, you might get drastically different answers from what the correct answer is. So, in order to do this, firstly, we times 7 by 2, and then we times 7 by 1. I'll show you how. So, 7 times 2 is 14. So, 1 gets carried over there, and that'll be 4. And then, once again, it'll be 7 times 1, which is 7, plus 1 at the top. So it will be 7 plus 1 at the top, and that would be 8. Therefore, the answer to 12 times 7 is 84. In questions that involve more than one two-digit number, for example, let's say 23 times 12, you can still do this by using the same technique. So once again, let's line up the numbers. So it'll be 23 times 12. As you can see, I lined it up. Once again, we go 2 times 3 and 2 times 2. So 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 times 2 is 4. Now this is where it gets kind of tricky. So once again, we have to times this across this way. So like 2, which we did twice, we're also going to do 1 2 times. Now since 1 is in the tens, we have to also structure this so we put it here in the tens. So we skip the 1s here and we start by 1 times 3 is 3 and we put it here. Once again we do 1 times 2 is 2 and then finally for the final step we have to add these numbers together. So it becomes 6 plus 0 is 6, 4 times 3 is 7, and then 2 plus 0 is 2. So the answer is 276. Why it works like that is we're essentially basically splitting the numbers together. So we're basically going 23 times 2 plus 23 times 10. So, and then as you can see, we did 46, and then we got 230, and then we added them together to finally get 276. So that's how you would do multiplications. Let's move on to some more difficult questions. So, example one, a workman has to melt 12 pieces of copper together. If it takes 12 minutes to meld two pieces together, how long does it take to meld all the pieces? So firstly, let's visualize the 17 pieces. Okay, we have this piece, and then we'll just split it 17 times. One, two. 
So as you can see here, we have 17 pieces, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 pieces. And we need to figure out how many times we meld these pieces. Well, as you can see, this intersection is where the pieces are going to be melded. So by counting, we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So these pieces are melded 16 times. So now we have the 16 times it's going to be melded plus the 12 minutes it's going to take. And basically, this is our equation. So like I said in how to multiplying two digit numbers, we firstly line it up together. Now we go 2 times 6, which is 12, 2 times 1, which is 2, and then we add 1, so it'll be 3, and then we go 1 times 6, because we go across, so 1 times 6, which is 6, and 1 times 1, which is 1, and then we add it together, so 2 plus 0 is 2, 6 plus 3 is 9, and 1. And there we go, we got our answer, 192. Therefore, the answer is D, 192 minutes. So with this method, I hope that solving multiplication will come much more easily and much more quickly. And good luck for future endeavors. Bye.